Good morning, everybody. Glad to have you here today. If you will, like, share, comment on the post, and then uh, join me in the 21st chapter of the book of Acts. We're going to get a little, I guess, geography lesson, uh, a little biblical GPS for a moment, uh, and then going to uh, have a little conversation setting the stage for where we are. Uh, verse 21 uh, in chapter 21 says, When he had parted from them, set sail, we came by a straight course to Kos, then next to Rhodes, from there to Patara, and having found a ship crossing to Phoenicia, we went aboard and set sail. When we had come in sight of Cyprus, leaving it on the left, we sailed to Syria and landed at Tyre, for there the ship was to unload its cargo. Um, and so just, uh, again, a little GPS lesson to begin with. Uh, again, he starts out. Uh, he goes to Kos, which was a, a major, um, an industrial city. Uh, it had a, a lot of um, industry there. It also had a, a major uh, medical uh, school, medical uh, center. Um, and uh, like I said, so it was an uh, important city. Uh, from there, they go to Rhodes, which was known uh, as the um, Island of the Roses. Uh, it sits at the entrance to the uh, Aegean Sea, so it was a very important um, uh, uh, shipping location. Uh, it also had a uh, major uh, university there. Uh, then they go from there to Patera. Uh, again, it was uh, another important uh, shipping uh, commercial uh, location as it set at the uh, entrance to the Xanthus, uh, the mouth of the, the Xanthus River. Um, and so uh, it was a major part of the Mediterranean uh, shipping. So it was a very wealthy, uh, wealthy city. Uh, from there, um, he goes across uh, to uh, able to go directly uh, across the Mediterranean uh, from there um, uh, to Cyprus, uh, then on to Tyre, which was uh, another very important um, port city. Um, and uh, it was a city that was built in two parts. Part of it was on uh, an island. Part of it was um, on uh, the mainland uh, between the two. And so two very uh, Im important uh, not two, but a number uh, of important cities uh, that um, Paul visits here uh, on his trip. Uh, what, what I want to really talk about as we enter into this section is Paul heads now to Jerusalem. Um, and I'm, I'm really kind of hesitant to do this. I hate to question or challenge the great uh, Apostle Paul. Uh, but I am not the only one uh, who would bring uh, this question uh, up? And that is, was Paul right in pressing on uh, to go to Jerusalem? Um, and obviously we know why Paul went. Uh, we looked at this uh, a few days ago when Paul says, I'm, I'm bound in the spirit uh, to go to Jerusalem. And so we admire, and, and he goes on and says, I know I'm going to be persecuted there. And so we admire his courage. Um, and what he believed was the sense uh, of, of listening uh, to the Holy Spirit. However, um, we also see when we look uh, through these passages, and we're going to get a little ahead of ourselves, uh, verse 4 uh, of this chapter tells us there that the people in Tyre uh, said, through the Spirit, he should not go to Jerusalem. Uh, then in verse 11, we see that Agabus comes to him, uh, takes his uh, girdle, his belt, uh, binds his own hands and feet, and says, the Holy Spirit said that the, the Jews uh, at Jerusalem will bind the man uh, that owns this girdle. And then we see that Luke and the other disciples were, were literally in tears in verse 12, urging, begging Paul uh, not to go to Jerusalem. So the question comes, who's right? Paul says the Spirit is telling him to go. Uh, others are saying the Spirit told us to tell you not to go. Um, 
and it's hard to say, I think. One thing we do know uh, is that uh, after this, uh, Paul is no longer uh, involved. We no longer see Paul uh, as a major uh, voice in um in worldwide missions. Uh, he does continue to work. He continues to speak to uh, national leaders um, and, and others who come to him, um, but he soon ends up, uh, becomes a prisoner uh, and uh, appears, from what we can tell, uh, to have then been a prisoner uh, for the rest of his life admire his desire to go back to Jerusalem. He, he wanted to have another opportunity to speak uh, to the Jews. He loved the Jews, um, but it's hard to ignore these number of times that uh, genuine believers urged him not to go and believe that they too uh, were um, listening to the Spirit. And I can tell you, um, I don't have an answer. Um, and others have attempted. Some just bring up the points as I have today. Uh, others do uh, say, yes, he was wrong, or yes, he did the right thing. Um, I, I don't think we can answer that completely. I don't think we can give an intelligent, complete answer to that question. What we do learn, um, again, is the importance, uh, I think, of listening um, you know, if, if the Spirit was telling Paul to go and he's convinced of that, then by all means he should have went. Uh, but we also need to be, and we've talked about this with Paul before, courage is good, but wisdom needs to be part of that. Um, did, did Paul's just heartfelt desire for the Jews override the people uh, that God was putting in his path to give him good wisdom? Uh, and so, uh, as somebody has said, every open door does not mean you walk through, and every closed door does not mean you don't go through. Um, and so, uh, again, I don't have an answer uh, for, for Paul's situation. What I, I can say this morning um, is that all of us uh, need to be, uh, again, very cautious and, uh, and, and, and certainly seek the will of God for ourself, but also that we, um, we realize and, and seek out those uh, who God has put in our path, uh, godly, uh, holy people who God puts in our path to give us uh, good wisdom. And we take in that full counsel uh, and make godly decisions. I don't know if I've provided much help to you today. Um, but again, other than be careful, be cautious um, that uh, we are uh, taking advantage of all the wisdom and the leadership uh, that God puts in front of us, that we don't make uh, bad decisions. Again, I can't say Paul made a bad decision. Please don't hear me saying that. Um, but uh, again, that, that we learn from this and realize that um, our decisions uh, are important. We need to seek the leadership of God, and sometimes that includes uh, wisdom from others. Keep it in mind. Think about it. Have a good day.